Do you have a positive outlook on how business is going to move forward with adopting AI, with using AI, with transforming in a way that is going to allow them to be successful in collaboration with AI? I do. I'm one of those people that has hope. I see all the scary factors. I do. And I worry about them. But I remember this every time I look at young children. They come into the world so open and so present and so full of hope for the future. They always remind me that beneath all our systems and tools and technology struggles, that openness and purity of the human spirit is still at the core of who we are, no matter what setting we're in, whether it's work or our personal life. And I do believe that each generation carries a little bit more awareness from what I've looked back on history and kind of what I've been seeing talking to anthropologists and historians and really reminding myself of the deep history because it's easy to just be like, look at all the bad in the world right now because there's a lot of bad. There's a lot of ugly and it's scary. And we're in the midst of a lot of change with these technologies, but also just at the sociological level, there's so much change happening right now that we're living through and being witness of. But if you really look back deeply over history, I really think that with each generation, we are getting better. We're experiencing more abundance. If you really zoom out as a species, we're actually living in, and this is data, historically factual, the least violent, least hungry era in history. And we're also the most technologically advanced that we've ever been. Now, that's not to say that that dismisses the horrific things that are happening right now, because there's a lot. But we already have the resources to feed everyone on this planet. Even right now, as AI is still advancing, we have a lot of the tools and the capacity to tackle a lot of big global crises that have plagued humanity for centuries. And whether that's food insecurity or medical breakthroughs or climate resilience. And the challenge isn't technological, it's consciousness. It's our intentionality to think about these problems compassionately in a reflected way with critical thinking and collaboration. And we have to elevate our inner work, the compassion, the presence, the ability to see past our differences. And I think if we grow those qualities in ourselves and continue to become better versions of ourselves, they'll be mirrored in the AI systems we build. They'll be mirrored in the technologies that we're deploying. It doesn't even have to be AI. It can be any tool that we've created throughout history is simply just a mirror to what our current consciousness is as humans. And if we are irresponsible and unethical, it's reflected in the technology. So we have to become better versions of ourselves to have that be reflected in our tools. At the end of the day, it comes back to us. So I think what gives me hope is our technology is racing forward, but so is our ability to remember what makes us deeply human. And so I think if we choose to pair AI with that consciousness and with kindness and wisdom and the vision of children looking forward, then I think this moment can be not just disruptive, but I think profoundly transformative for the future.